Welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you the upgraded version of our restaurant dashboard management system. We have added a lot of features uh, as compared to our previous version. We have added the finance, we have added the stock management, the user management, table details, manage menu, reports and assign tables. So uh, without wasting your time, I will show you the functionality of this restaurant dashboard management system to our new users. So as of now, you can able to see we have the four user roles, the admin, the waiter, the kitchen and the cleaner. Okay, so here we, you will see here the waiter is logged in and here you will see the kitchen panel is logged in and here you will see the cleaner is logged in. So as of now, when you go to this, for example, a customer comes to your restaurant and it will sit down on the table number two. Okay, so uh, a customer comes and sit on the table number two, a waiter, a waiter go to that particular table and want to create a order from the customer he just click on this new order so as of now you can able to see if while uh, creating the order or getting the order from the customer the customer want to change or exchange the table then the waiter can select from the drop down as well okay now the customer uh, in the appetizer menu he just give this order and waiter add it and in the drink section he will just add this and click on this add item and click on this create order. So when he click on this create order, so your that particular table order created, that particular table customer order is created. Now the chef which will refresh the data, the chef panel as of now, you can able to see the order ID is this and the table number two and the waiter is this. Now you can able to see the chef is going to be preparing he just click on this mark preparing so when he click on this mark preparing as of now you can able to see the, uh, for example uh, your customer for example a customer asks ask to the waiter uh, how much time taken to deliver our food so it will refresh the data so as of now you can able to see that particular waiter active orders shown here not other waiter orders are shown here okay now you can see here the order is preparing and the restaurant and the chef after preparing the food you just click on this mark ready and it's for ready for handover now whenever a customer again and uh, the waiter refresh the data so as of now you can able to see ready for handover he just go to the kitchen and collect the order and click on this mark the sound so when he click on this mark the sound now you can able to see order served successfully okay you understand now now in that time a one more customer comes a one more customer comes and uh, he just click on this create new order and when you click on this new order and add item and click on this create order right now that particular customer is not added any drink okay so what happened in this case for example a customer forgot to add the drink he just come here and ask to the waiter that i want to add a drink in my i want to add a drink in my order okay so uh, the uh, so the waiter just select from the drop down that particular table okay and click on this add item go to the drink and click on this add item and update order so when he click on this update order as of now in the kitchen section you can able to see the table one order is now going to be the mark ready so when he going to be mark ready so as of now see the, uh, the it, it also it also ready for the hand over hand over okay now the customer refresh and as of now you can able to see the waiter refresh the my active orders now it will also serve that particular food so now after serving the food uh, the table one so this particular order is completing their food and want to get a bill so the, uh, so the waiter just click on this bill order so as of now now we must understand one thing here here you will see in the finance section in the finance section you can able to see uh, in the dashboard you will see here the 7552 and in the finance section we don't have any things here okay now we just click on this uh, uh, now we just click on this bill order as of now you can able to see that particular order id automatically fetched and that is that their bills okay payment type is cash card upi so card 
यू पी आई और कैश ओके हाउ मच अमाउंट ही पेड ही पेड द वन थाउजेंड रुपीज ओके नाउ दी फोर हंड्रेड एंड टेन रुपीज चेंज टू रिटर्न टू दैम ओके नाउ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस जनरेट बिल सो वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दिस जनरेट बिल एज ऑफ नाउ यू कैन एबल टू सी द ऑर्डर बिल इज क्रिएटेड एंड चेंज टू रिटर्न फोर हंड्रेड टेन इज डन ओके नाउ गो टू आवर डेटा बेस and refresh them and go to our dashboard so as of now when we refresh our dashboard in the revenue section that particular amount is successfully be added in the finance section you can able to see the order is successfully come here okay so this is the date here okay now one more thing i want to show you your total income is this your net profit is this and your total expense is this for example uh, you order a coke six bottles okay from a vendor okay it's a expense and you can add this 700 rupees and click on this add entry so when you click on this add entry so as of now finance entry is added and here as you will see your net profit and your expenses here okay so if you want to search a single date number for example today date is this and if you want to search a transaction data of this particular date you can simply copy that date or you can simply enter so as of now you can able to see today we in tot our total income is this and total expense is this and total net profit is this so this you will can okay now go to our waiter panel and go to the tables so as of now you can able to see table 2 order is created and billed done successfully now if a more customer comes and now the table to marked as dirty it will not be available to no new customers until our cleaner clean that particular table so as of now t2 is marked as dirty because customers comes eat and go okay now the waiter clean the table and click on this mark clean so when he click on this mark clean now again go to the waiter panel and now the table 2 is again available for the new order okay hope you understand that now let's come to the uh, admin panel if you want to add a thing uh, add a thing in the drink drink okay item name we can add the pepsi okay we can add the pepsi and the price is 120 and the category is drink okay we just add the category and click on this add item so when we click on this add item as of now you can able to see the pepsi drink is going to be successfully added and whenever you can here you will also see one more thing in the table details section okay in the table details section you can check out the table that particular table is occupied or not you just refresh your database so when you refresh your database as of now you can able to see assigned waiter to this table so here you will uh, confuse with one point what is assigned waiter right now we have only one waiter and this waiter can uh, can hold these three tables go to our tables sheet okay now we just copy this and paste it here and we will give him a name of t Four. Okay. When we give him a name of T four, as of now, we just uh copy this particular data and paste it here, and we just give him a name, new waiter ID. Uh, that is Zarani four, and we will remove this. Okay. Now we refresh our database. So when we refresh our database, as of now, you can able to see. As of now. uh you can able to see when we refresh our database and uh, you can see uh, 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 we just copy our uh, url here uh, sorry i may understand okay we just copy and uh, the url in the new window and enter here new waiter id and click on this login so when i click on this login as of now you can able to see no tables is assigned we go to our admin panel and go click on this assigned tables as of now you can able to see we have only two waiters we just select our new waiter and allowed him a new table and click on this assigned table so when i click on this assigned table now go to our new waiter dashboard as of now you can able to see that particular waiter can only conduct order for that particular table not others as of now this waiter can can, can be handle three tables but this waiter can handle only one table as of as like that you can add 
10 or 20 tables to each wait at 10 or 20 tables to your waiters okay now go to our admin panel as of now when you go to your report section so now this waiter the one waiter you can see conduct two orders from the customer while the other waiter is not conducted any table we go to the other waiter and click on this new order and click on this add item and drink in drink we have added a pepsi in our video and click on this add item and click on this create order so when we click on this create order so as of now the uh, the order want to uh, the order want to add extra things we just click on this update order and this item and we go to our main item and add the chicken biryani okay and click on this add item and click on this update order so when we click on this update order go to our kitchen panel and refresh our database a chef refresh our database and it will automatically refresh after five minutes okay so as of now you can able to see uh, that particular waiter table number four is marked ready so when he click on this mark ready waiter refresh their data and it will automatically refresh after five minutes so in this video we do all these steps quickly so i will refresh data manually okay so as you can see here ready for the handover and click on this marked sub so when we click on this marked sub order has been marked as sub now you can able to see bill order when you click on this bill order so that particular uh, order is fetched from our database cash okay yes he will pay him the 1200 and click on this generate bill so when you click on this generate bill as of now you can able to see your order is going to be successfully generated go to our restaurant uh, admin panel and now the waiter uh, the waiter 2 has successfully completed one order order okay now go to your manage menu you will also see the table details right now the one table is successfully is uh, under someone customer and order is delivered on that table it's occupied by this particular order id and the t4 is dirty so again you can see here the dirty table uh, the dirty table is cleaned by the cleaner staff and, and it's again available for the setup or for the new customer so we thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe and comment in our uh, comment box we uh, we are like your comments so we thank you very much